How's everybody doing? Uh, it's been a while since I posted anything, but uh, here we are, day 100 on the carnivore diet, and today I'm making some spare ribs. I would walk you through the process, but unfortunately I already started them, already threw them in the pressure cooker for about 23 minutes, so now they're in the oven roasting. Browning. Getting better. So a few takeaways from this diet so far. Um, eggs suck. Butter could use less. Heavy cream every once in a while. Black coffee is a must. So pretty much just beef and beef. I ate a rotisserie chicken from Walmart last night. That was a mistake. I do pork every once in a while. I try to avoid it, but it's worth it. I know I shouldn't be using barbecue sauce, but sometimes you gotta make some exceptions. So I decided to go, I decided to go with this. It's delicious. I don't use too much of it. It hasn't messed me up yet, so. I've also finally got back on a regular workout routine, which so far, it's nice. I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna go for a run. How about posting some gym videos on some of the workouts that I like to do, but I really don't wanna be that guy recording himself in the gym. But I've already recorded myself in the store. So for anybody just starting this diet, just know that everybody's different from my experience from myself and then from what i've seen from others i was taking in too much fat so i was bloating i didn't feel great i still felt better but when i took all that butter out and kind of just started basically eating steak stopped drinking the salt water so i stopped taking in as many as much electrolytes as many electrolytes i started to feel a lot better my body shape started to come in more. I started to trim a lot of more of that fat off. I figured, well, if you have more fat on your body, maybe you should take in more protein and less fat. And then once you get to a point where you feel good, then you can start taking in more fat. But for me, it's basically just been the fat that renders off of the steak or the ground beef that I cook up, which is either the Wagyu ground beef from Walmart or a ribeye steak and pork rinds and bone broth. And I, I cheat every now and then with the sugar-free barbecue sauce, which I don't fucking care. And now the mental health aspect of this whole experience. Just know that it doesn't cure depression and anxiety, but it makes, like I said before, it makes things a lot easier to deal with. From someone who is going from a, a very, very dark place with very intrusive thoughts, I no longer have those intrusive thoughts and I no longer am in that dark place. However, I am stressed the fuck out. For all you work creepers on my TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. But the whole clarity you get from doing the diet and getting rid of all the carbs and all the sugars and all that sh crap that you put in your body, it just, it makes you feel better, makes you think clear. I still gotta work on myself. But also know that if you're out there, you're struggling, you're not alone. We're all out here, we're all struggling in our own different ways. Sometimes you just need to watch somebody else going through the same thing you're going through. Sometimes you just need to cuss at the fucking world. It's so for all you guys out there just starting as well on the carnivore diet. If you have issues with digesting, because that's definitely going to be something in the beginning. Um, something that I help that I use that helped me along a little bit was this stuff right here. All it is is basically just a uh, an enzyme. Ox bile is something you'll hear a lot too if you research, you know, different things to help your, your stomach digest. Because your stomach's gonna have to completely reset itself. It's used to taking in carbs and sugar. So when you're just putting a lot of fat and protein in there, your body's gonna react differently, obviously. This stuff definitely help things kinda go smoother. If you catch my drift. So I still take magnesium glyconate, iodine supplements, K and D of course, potassium. And that's pretty much everything that I'm taking right now on a daily. I also make sure you take it with food. I've also found myself eating differently as far as how much I eat and how often I eat. Recently, I've been on a streak where I just eat once a day. I get home from work and just pound down a steak, maybe that and some ground beef, some pork rinds. Chase it down with a tall glass of coffee. But that's pretty much it. When I first started out, I was eating like two steaks a day but I was gaining a lot of unwanted body weight. 
I noticed a lot of inflammation, so I kind of backed off of it um, and just reduced it down to one steak a day. I started eating less because I found out apparently if you eat too much protein, it has a reverse effect. So finding that balance is key um, starting out. And the ribs are done. Beauties, baby back ribs. Well, there we have it. Some pork spare ribs lathered in way too much sugar-free barbecue sauce. That stuff right there. I have to do the real test. Let's see how tender these things actually turned out. Oh. I will take that. <laughs> it's so good. Let's give it a try. You know, the cinnamon is a little weird, but I like it. Like a virgin. So if you've never put cinnamon in your dry row for your ribs, what does it taste like? It tastes like apple pie. Apple? I think it's perfect if you use pie. apple. This would be perfect for like fall. Like if you want ribs around like football season, it's a little chilly out. I think it's good for the carnivore diet if you're looking for something sweet on meat. You want that sweet meat? <laughs> it's so fucking good. <clears throat> What'd you say? All jokes aside, my biggest piece of advice is just to not give up. Going through the diet and go through some tough some tough things and your body's acting weird. Don't don't give up. Just keep pushing through it. I guarantee you some of the things that you go through, whether it be weird poops or just feeling a little different. Uh, I guarantee you everybody else felt the same way, but just keep pushing through and it will be worth it. Till next one.